Hello, and welcome to the Quizcom Forms app training video. In this video, we will demonstrate how to easily create a fully customized, easy-to-use form. In the demo, we will use the travel booking list that we have de been developing in the previous demos. We will change that form to have two columns and change the field caption to appear above the fields for ease of use. We will also select which fields appears where and select the width of each field. We will then demonstrate splitting the form into multiple tabs and set some conditions on when those tabs will be displayed to different users. We will show you how to add rich text anywhere in the form, as well as separators. And finally, we will show how to configure the field descriptions to be displayed as pop-ups using information icons next to the field names. To begin, we open the Travel Form app, and to get to the interface setting, we click on the list ribbon and select the Quizcom Forms button. Then we click on the Fields, Groups or Tabs option. This will get us to the settings page that will allow us to rearrange our form. Our first task in the setting page today will be to split our forms into tabs. We will create a new tab by creating new group and giving it the name Request Details. In the group settings, we can set how many columns will be per row by default. And we can then start adding or removing rows to our tab by using the plus or minus signs in the rows section. Once we add a row, we can click on the plus sign in the position we want to add the field to, which will then allow us to select the field we want to add. In this case, we will add the title field as the first field in the tab, and to make the title field take the entire width of the form, we change the column span setting for that column to 2. We can now add more rows and select the fields that will be in them. This way, we can add the travel form field side by side to the destination field and the start date field will be next to the end date field. At different places in the form, we can change the column span again to let some columns take more space than others. To finish our first tab, we will add the culinary requirements fields side by side and the phone number field at the bottom. Now we can add our next tab, the Manager Approval tab. This will be a simple tab with just the Approved By field. Our last tab for this demo will be the Travel Team Approval tab. We will add three rows to this tab and select the field for each row. We also have the option to set up conditions for each tab. For example, we can set it so that the Travel Team Approval tab will not be displayed if the Approved By field is empty. Now we go back to our form to view the changes we have applied to it. When viewing an item that is not yet Manager Approved, we can only see the first two tabs. Let's edit the item and set the Manager Approval field in the Manager Approval tab. As you can see, if other tabs contain invalid information, trying to save the form will automatically highlight the tabs with invalid field values and switch to the first tab with the invalid values. When we save the valid form and go back to view it, the Travel Team Approval tab now appears. However, the layout of our form is not very user-friendly in the moment. To improve this, we will want the field titles to appear above the field control and not next to it. We can achieve that by going back into the Quizcom Forms, into the Field Groups and Tabs section, and changing that we want the field caption location to be above the field. When we save this and go back to our form to view it, 
we can see that the form is now easier to read and easier to navigate for the user. This is also true when we view the form or if we choose to print it. For our next task, we want to customize the form to include some directions for the users and some separators to make the form even more user-friendly. We can do that in any group by adding a row uh, in the, uh, for the group. And instead of choosing a column that will be displayed in that row, we can add HTML elements such as text cell. In that text cell, we have the option to write whatever we want in whatever style we want. For example, we include instructions for the user on how to fill in the travel form and what will happen once they fill it in. When we save our changes and go back to our form, we can see the text we specified appear in the, se in the section that we've specified. Now let's talk about field descriptions. We have some fields with field description, but just to enhance the demo, we will add field, a field description for the preferred hotel chain field. In this description, we will explain to the user that they may or may not get the hotel they selected. Since this is a fairly long description for a field, this may cause the form to be visually unpleasant. As you can see, there is too much text under the field preferred hotel chain and under, uh, under other fields that have descriptions. Using Quizcom Forms, we can optimize that. If we go back into the Quizcom Form settings page and into the field groups and tabs section, we can now choose that field descriptions will be located under an information icon. When we save our form and go back to view it, the form is now more visually pleasing with information icons that the user can choose to open a pop-up and read the description next to the, to the field. Finally, let's see another option that we have to add to our form, which is a separator line. Anywhere in our form, we can click a line and add a row under it. And then we can add, instead of a field, we can add a horizontal line. We can make it have a, a full width of the form. And what this will do, as we will see in a second, this will split our form visually, enhancing the usability. Our end result is a form with field names above the title, descriptions in, in pop-up buttons, and horizontal line and text description when we want it. Thank you for watching the Quizcom Forms app training video on how to easily create a customized multi-column and multi-tab form.